Hey loves! Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Valerie and you're welcome. And if you're returning, my love, what's up? This is a follow-up video to my last video of how I got into tech. I've gotten so many DMs, emails, so many about working in tech and I promised that I was going to make this a series because I feel like anyone can work in tech whether you want to code or you don't want to write code so in today's video I am going to be sharing non-technical roles when I say non-technical roles I mean that these roles require skills that you might already have in your jobs and other industry that you can just transfer and come into the tech industry and the next video that's going to come after this is how to get an entry level job in tech with no experience so don't worry I'm going to keep it coming and this might not be what my channel is about but this is a part of me and these videos are going to keep coming so if you want to remain gorgeous and still work in tech stay tuned <laughs> okay so in this video I'm going to first off call the roles and I'm going to explain what they do and I'm going to attach links in the description box so that you can learn more about those roles and I'm also going to attach links to a course that would then furthermore explain what happens in those roles to you. So the first role that I'm going to be kicking off with is a product manager. A product manager is a role that could be different things in different companies but according to universal standard, as a product manager, you are the intersection between technology, business, and user experience. So if these are three things that you're very passionate about, this role is for you. If you're someone who likes coordinating things or coordinating teams to achieve a common goal then this is a good role for you it requires a lot of strategy it requires stakeholder management so think of it like this it's a it, product manager is like a mini ceo but for a particular part of a product or for an entire product so as a product manager you're working with engineering you're working with sales you're working with every single person in the company to help that product that you're building or you're managing reach its maximum potential. The next role on this list of roles is a customer success manager. So customer success roles are very different from customer support sometimes. Sometimes customer success roles can involve customer support but customer support is not equal to customer success although it plays a part so if you're someone who likes making sure that people have the best experience with something you love creating processes experiences for people while using something this is a good role for you if you've maybe worked in a role that allowed you plan an experience for customers or where you've been very very customer facing so you receive customer feedback you gather customer data you use this data to make decisions you use this data to inform the product teams that this is what customers are saying about the product and this is how we can improve them you understand the customer's pain point as a customer success manager if we had a meeting here to discuss about our products, how our product is perceived in the market. The customer success manager will be the voice of the customer. So the third non-technical role that is in demand, I would say is user experience and user interface designers. So a lot of times people think that these two things mean one thing. In smaller companies, one person might do these two roles, but in larger companies, there are user experience teams and there are user interface teams. So user interface people are the people who focus on the outlook, the interface of the application that you're using. So think button colors, think... Um, whether this should be a square or a circle, whether this should drop down or go up, that's what you're kind of focused on as a user interface person because you're designing the interface of the product. But as a user experience person, you're going beyond that. You're creating an experience for the user. So how do you want people to feel when they're using this product? Do you want them to 
be extremely excited when they log in so maybe because you want that to happen you add a banner that pops up and says welcome when people come in that's what you kind of have to think about when you're a user experience person so this role is really good for people who are very um creative who are very into consumer experience so you like to create experiences for people or you like to design things a lot of these roles that i'm mentioning you realize they are kind of people focused because in every business there needs to be somebody who focuses on people which is why software engineering or software development is not the only way to thrive in the technology industry. The next role that I am going to be speaking about is the technical sales role. Something has to be sold. As a tech business or as a tech company, someone needs to sell your product either to direct consumers, as in users or businesses. Someone has to make sure that the business is reaching the clients that they're supposed to reach and this is what a salesperson does so if you're great with relationships you're great in convincing people you can sell if you can sell if you can sell this thing to someone who you just met today then you can definitely apply for a technical sales role in a technology company a sales salaries are usually sometimes commission based because I think you earn a commission of the deals that you win or something of that sort so the salary structure is a little bit different but if this is something that you enjoy doing you love talking to people and selling to them on a normal day you can as well already transfer these skills that you have to the tech industry the next role i'm going to be speaking on is marketing and sales i'll start off by saying that there are different types of marketing so whatever type of marketing that you're doing currently now you just need to find a company who you can transfer that type of marketing to. So there's product marketing, there is growth marketing, there is, um, what do they call that thing? Out of office, hope, experiential. This is what bigger companies might need, maybe not smaller startups, but somebody has to spread the word of how good this product is, which is where people in marketing come in for marketing, people you come up with marketing campaigns you come up with where you can go and acquire users if you're a consumer facing product you think about how do I announce this new feature that we just created so if you're already doing this type of things you're launching campaigns in the business you already in the company that you're already working at or you're already running ads or creating strategies for different holidays or stuff like that you can definitely apply that in a technical company another role in tech that is usually in demand and i would say in the nigerian tech industry would be a financial analyst or a financial partnerships person and i put financial in front because fintech is on the rise fintech a lot of the technology solutions that we have in nigeria and africa are fintech finance technology focus so someone needs to know how the regulators in that in those industry work how different interdependencies happen and if you're someone who already has experience doing this then those skills are very transferable to a tech company that offers financial solutions so you could be the person who is liaising between them and the industry regulators or between them and other partners in the industry which they would need to partner with in order to make their product successful to end this video i would say that any skill that you've gathered in any previous role that you've had can be applied to the technology industry you just need to find where you want to go so that you can craft your story of the experience that you already have to fit into this industry that you want to go to so i hope that these roles that i've shared kind of inspire you i'm going to keep put the links in the description box so that you can also do further research and i if you want to work in tech you can work in tech anyone can work in tech you do not have to be a software developer to work in tech and i think that going forward this would be my mission to convince as many women as possible that there's a space in the technology industry for them because we do not have enough women in the technology industry yet it is very male dominated and we need more women in tech if you like this video 
don't forget to like it don't forget to share with someone who might find it helpful who is trying to get into tech and don't forget to leave a comment below you can ask further questions or maybe any of the roles or anything i'll always be in the comment section waiting to hear from you